Today, I'm going to show you how to live stream and share your recorded lessons using just your cell phone right now. Hi, my name is Abdurrahman Stiki, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher, Google certified educator, and doctoral student. On this channel, I show you videos on how to use technology to simplify your life, along with the occasional comedy skit and East Asian entertainment vlog. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily set up live streaming and recording straight from your cell phone. I've previously done tutorials on tools like Streamlabs and Screencastify to show you how to record and stream your lessons. However, those are a bit more advanced. This is for the time when you don't necessarily have access to a computer and just your cell phone is supposed to be enough. The good news is it is enough because with your cell phone, you can live stream your lessons and with your cell phone, you can also record them in a way that is easily viewable to students. Now, let's get to the tutorial. This is how to use your cell phone to live stream and record right now. Before we get to the phone, there are a couple of things that you can do to improve the quality of your stream. Let's walk through them. The first thing you can do is to get a space. Ideally, you want something behind you that has plenty of space for you to place either a whiteboard or chart paper or some kind of visual assistance, and that can usually come in the form of a clean wall. The clean space behind you is going to allow you to actually reference whatever you put up on the wall and can most easily emulate whatever you would do in the classroom. So just have that space in mind before you start streaming or recording. Number two is to set up the placement of your phone. It isn't always necessary to have some kind of tool because you can technically just place your phone wherever it is easiest, like on a windowsill. But the ideal option is still a tripod with some kind of phone holder. What that is going to allow you to do is that through these two inexpensive tools, give your phone the stability that is needed for it to not be taking up your hands, first of all, and B, to be directly at eye level. Ideally, you want to place it in a manner where it is eye level with you while also providing you enough space to reference whatever is behind you. Because if you don't do that, your students are going to be either looking up at you or down at you the entire time, and that's not the clearest image in the world. Number three is find a light source. Light sources for YouTubing, home studios are great because they're extremely inexpensive and they can really level up the quality of your video. However, you don't even need to make that purchase. Sunlight or just the fluorescent lighting in your house should be fine. If you're using sunlight, don't sit directly in front of the sunlight because that will give you that witness protection look. And if you're using the fluorescent lighting in your house, don't sit directly under the bulb because that will give you that Sly Cooper look. Number four is ideally get a microphone. Lapel microphones like the one I'm using here are great because they can hook up to almost any kind of clothing and they can essentially be plugged into your phone or mobile device for far greater clarity of audio. The internal microphone on your devices is fine if you're close to it. Farther away, you will likely need some kind of microphone, either a Bluetooth mic or a lapel mic with good distance. Even without the mic, however, you should follow the golden rules of generally recording clear audio, meaning speaking clearly and sitting in a low to no noise area. Finally, you're ready to record and share or stream your lesson. Let's get started. To record and share your lesson, you're going to start by going to the YouTube app on your device. Once you're in the app, you're going to notice on the top right that there is a camera button. Go ahead and click that button. It's going to give you a bunch of things that you may have previously recorded. And those are great because if you've already recorded your lesson, you can just click on one of them trim them as you wish, cut away whatever you need to, click next, and now you can add a title, description, and upload. That is going to place your lesson that you've already recorded directly on YouTube. Suppose you haven't already recorded your lesson. That's also great because if you notice on the left, there is an option to record. Hit that option, Start recording either what's in front of you or on your screen. Hit pause. And finally, it's going to give you exactly what you just recorded. Go ahead 
and hit next and just as you did before assign a title a description and upload the video now you may have noticed that there is an option here to go live however when i click on it it tells me that i do not meet the eligibility that is because on this teacher channel i do not have at least a thousand subscribers which is the requirement to live stream on a mobile device on youtube fortunately even if you can't necessarily live stream here there is an option go back to the main page and this time you're going to open up twitch log in to twitch and once you're logged in it's going to show you a bunch of channels of people who are live streaming currently on the top left click on the icon that represents your name and click go live it's going to give you a strange sideways image but i promise you it is going to look normal once you start streaming where it says test stream that is the title of my stream but that's because that was one of my older titles you will just have a blank space there so click it title whatever you want and i'll say test stream 2. in the category i'll say just chatting at this point i can share it to google classroom so my students know but fortunately with twitch the link always stays exactly the same so it would just be twitch.tv slash whatever name you chose and click start stream once i do that i have officially started live streaming now at this point in the bottom when i click on it there are three little dots that allow me to once again share the stream to google classroom wherever i may wish they let me mute my microphone hide the chat or lock the screen so that nothing changes regardless of where i go so once i'm done with this I'm going to click end and that is going to end my stream. Once again, it's going to give me the recording of that stream, which I can once again share wherever I want. I can also delete the stream if I need to. And that in very simple terms is what I did for live streaming and recording and sharing my lessons. And that's it. You have effectively seen how you can record and share your lessons or live stream them using nothing more than your phone. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I will be certain to answer them to the best of my ability. And if videos like this are helpful to you, consider liking and subscribing. This is Paxani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.